Hello, I am Dr. Randy Morris, MD. I am a board certified reproductive endocrinologist in the United States. I have spent my entire professional career, 30 years, treating people with infertility and recurrent miscarriages. Our most successful treatment during this time has been IVF. Unfortunately, the practice of IVF in the US is in jeopardy. Stay tuned and I will explain why and what you can do to save IVF. In 1973, the U.S. Supreme Court issued a decision which became known as Roe v. Wade, or Roe v. Wade for short. This decision held that the 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution guaranteed a fundamental right to privacy which protects a pregnant woman's right to an abortion. Since then, other Supreme Court cases have relied on and upheld that decision. Earlier this year, however, the Supreme Court overturned the Roe v. Wade decision. As a result, a number of states have once again banned abortion in the United States. What has this got to do with IVF? It turns out a lot. The people who want to ban abortion also want to ban contraception and IVF. Why? These people have religious beliefs about the status of a fertilized egg. They consider anything that destroys a fertilized egg or prevents it from implanting to be wrong. Of course, there are hundreds of different religions that are practiced in the US and many people don't observe any particular religion. The majority of people in the US don't believe that a fertilized egg has any particular importance. However, for those that do believe it, they want to force everybody else to follow their religious beliefs. During IVF, doctors collect eggs from a patient's ovaries. Some eggs are not viable. The viable eggs have sperm added to them. Some of these become normally fertilized eggs, some do not. Those of you who subscribe to this channel know that most fertilized eggs have a variety of abnormalities and therefore do not have the ability to ever become a live-born person. Sometimes fertilized eggs don't develop normally. Other times they develop but don't implant. And still other times they implant but then miscarry. IVF programs will use a number of methods to try to identify the most valuable embryos. At our program, to maximize the chance for a pregnancy, all embryos are frozen and transferred into the uterus at a later time non-viable embryos are discarded. When patients have completed building their families, they may decide to donate their remaining embryos for use by somebody else, or they may elect to discard their embryos. A handful of states have abortion bans that define life at beginning at fertilization. These states have selected a minority religious belief and made it into law. These laws could be used to prosecute patients and physicians who perform IVF. Other states are attempting to pass legislation that would grant embryos, fetuses, and fertilized eggs the same constitutional rights as actual live-born persons. These laws would also criminalize the practice of IVF. Imagine you and your doctor going to prison for using IVF to try to grow your family. It doesn't matter whether you have differing religious beliefs. You may be forced to follow somebody else's religious beliefs. This is why organizations such as the American Society for Reproductive Medicine and the American Medical Association, as well as physicians and healthcare personnel all over the country are sounding the alarm. What can you do to prevent this dystopian future? You must vote. Find out who the candidates are in your state that support a person's right to control their bodies and prevent government interference into the doctor-patient relationship. This includes senators, congressmen, governors, and even elected judges. These candidates are usually going to be Democrats, but there are also a few Republicans. If you are not sure, ask them if they support a person's right to choose. Ask them if they believe a person has the right to control what goes on inside their body without government interference. Ask them if they believe whether an embryo or fetus should have the same rights as an actual living person. Finally, don't believe them if they say they only want to ban abortion 
but not ban IVF or contraception. Religious groups have been protesting against IVF and birth control pills since they were invented. They know that these bans would be unpopular. Their strategy is to word these new laws so vaguely that they claim now that they are not trying to ban IVF, but use them later to do just that. And at that point, it will be too late. Protect reproductive rights. Speak out. Encourage your friends and family members to do the same and mobilize as many people as you can to vote to keep people who want to take away your reproductive rights out of office. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.